In today's video, we did a tour of Quarley's Residence, one of Ghana's most luxurious buildings known for housing celebrities from all around the world, including Idris Elba, Jet Li, and Naomi Campbell. It is also famously known for its CEO, Nana Kwame Bediako, aka Cheda, as he incorporated his passion for luxury cars into each of his properties. In each building sits a rare luxury car as its centerpiece. If that's not enough to catch your attention, everything else in this tour will. This is one of four properties we were given the opportunity to film. At Quarley's residence, 40 units sit on less than half an acre of land as it overlooks Bellagio and has stunning views of the hustle and bustle of Accra. Welcome to the tour of Quarley's residence. We are currently entering the reception of Quarley's residence and a young lady is going to help me go around this ground floor. Okay, so once again, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, this is our restaurant. Thank you. So it starts in the morning. Okay. Okay. So it's 6.30 a.m. So then it's 6.30 a.m. Okay. And then the break for like an hour. And then lunch starts at 12 p.m. Okay. To uh, 4 p.m. Okay. And then dinner starts at 6 to 10.30 p.m. Okay, great. So this is the coffee lounge, like she said. And I remember the first time that I came here, it's absolutely crazy, the interior, the furniture from Bentley. And the owner of the property is a car enthusiast, so it makes sense that a lot of the inspiration, even in the elevator, it seems like it's Rolls Royce inspired. Yes. So what are the operation times for this place? Yeah. Okay, so the lounge is open at 6 a.m. Okay. throughout the day. So okay. we're open throughout okay. 24-7. Wow, yes. perfect. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the interior of this space. To a lot of people, it might seem like it's a lot. It's a very loud space, but honestly, when we're speaking luxury, anything outside the box, anything unique and amazing, what part of that is not loud? I love the different, different color schemes, the beige, the brown, the black. And what's so fascinating to me is the fact that these silver drapes coming down kind of matches the artwork on that wall of like lines coming down. The architecture, the space, absolutely luxury, amazing. But we're now gonna move on into the actual reception area and continue the tour of the ground floor. So the owner of this property is a huge car enthusiast and a unique point in all of his properties is the car, the signature car at the first floor. This is a 1956 190 SL Mercedes Benz. Crazy vintage car, very, very unique and rare. And Right after you enter through the lobby, that's the first thing you see. That should say a lot about the property that we're about to do a tour of. Walking into the reception, behind me we have a fishbone table made of Korean material. According to the owner of this property, it cost $60,000 and was crafted over a nine month period. Handcrafted. Let's not leave that part out. And behind this gentleman, we have a huge art piece behind, which is actually the signature art piece that you'll find throughout this property. It took one year to negotiate the rights of this artwork and it cost about $10,000. So I think we're gonna continue the tour and head back there into the gym. So behind Zane on his left hand side, there's this little lounge area that you can kind of meet guests without having to take them upstairs. And we're now heading into the gym on the ground floor. So this gym pretty much has everything. Everything. Everything, everything you need. So what are the operating hours? Of so uh, the, the gym operates from 6 a.m. Okay. To 5:30 p.m. Okay. So, you know, some people like to work out in the evenings. So. Yeah. 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 Right now with the whole Corona situation, are there any limitations? As yes. 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 Uh, so we can take like three at a time. Okay. We can take more than that. Okay. So, yes. Okay. All right. And right after you leave the gym, whether you want to go to the spa or to the pool. Oh, hello. hello. Thank you so much. You can take it off. Okay. Thank you. So first we have the steam room, and I'm sure there's so many other services that you're gonna tell us about. So after the steam room, what do we have next? The sauna. The sauna, okay. So what's the difference between a steam room and a sauna? It does the same thing. Oh, yeah. no? okay, perfect. And yes. The massage room. The massage room. Okay. Okay, perfect. And what are your operating hours? Um, for, we have 16 minutes. 
Okay. We have 45 minutes. Okay. And we have massages. Yes. Okay. 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 At what time does the spa open? At 8. 8 a.m. Okay. Does it have a closing time? Yes. At 7, 7. a.m. or 8. Okay. All right. Perfect. So it's basically open throughout the day. So if yes. you guys want to come and explore that amenity, you can as well. We just finished the ground floor, the spa, the gym, the entrance, and now we're heading on to the pool side area. Is the pool side 24 hours or? No, uh, actually the pool closes at 9 p.m. Okay, yes. okay. And it's like a good size, a good space. So can people from outside come here or is it solely for people staying? For the pool, people from outside can use it okay. by reservation. Okay, and can you get food services out here? Yes, you can. Drinks okay. and food. Okay, so perfect. So it's basically like a hotel as far as like amenities and everything yeah. is concerned. Yeah. Okay. We are currently at the one bedroom apartment at Carly's residence. This is the best seller of this property and I'm going to do a quick little tour of this amazing apartment. you enter into the apartment you have a bathroom for your guests for people that are passing by and visiting your apartment so they don't necessarily have to go upstairs and it's the same as almost all the bathrooms throughout this entire video you'll notice <laughs> So we're currently heading into the kitchen and dining area of this one bedroom loft. There's something very unique to this loft that the other apartments are not going to have, which I'm going to show you in a bit. But this has the standard dining room table, the kitchen, and I'm not going to repeat a lot of these things because they're going to be the same in all the apartments, but it has storage, a stocked fridge, which you'll see in the next couple of apartments in this video. show you guys something really really cool over here we have very very high ceilings which doesn't exist in any of the other apartments this one bedroom apartment has high ceilings all the way up to the top and it has the same floor to ceiling window so these floor to ceiling curtains window can be controlled with this little remote and we can just open The curtains which is really really cool continue watching the video i'm not going to spill all the beans in this first apartment tour in this video we're going to go from the first apartment loft to this two bedroom to the penthouse and each apartment we explore more and more of the features are going to be highlighted and explained but here we have a beautiful couch built-in tv fixture that complements the entire space most other apartments have kitchen bedroom dining room living room all on the same floor but just the loft actually is spanned over two floors and it's actually really really cool it has like a new york loft type feel and we're heading upstairs as we go up the stairs it will lead straight into the bedroom which is really really cool so check this out <laughs> I can understand why this is their best seller. It's very, very convenient. Most people traveling might be traveling by themselves, but it's definitely a bachelor pad type feel. It has such an open space that we have the bedroom up here. There's no walls enclosing this space. It's completely direct to the staircase. And behind me, we can see the same curtains we open downstairs that we can close from up here using the control. So everything is absolutely open. You can look down from here at your living room, which is quite fun, honestly. So we have a bathroom here again. All the bathrooms are pretty much the same until you get to the penthouse. And still, even though it might be the same from all the other bathrooms, it still doesn't fail to astonish me how detailed, how like exact everything is. This room was not staged for our filming. This is how it's been and everything is lined up so straight and it's just perfect and you guys know I'm a big fan of the rain shower so 
absolutely beautiful. If you guys are already amazed by this one bedroom apartment in this tour of Carly's residence, I'm going to go from this one bedroom apartment to a two bedroom apartment to the penthouse. That's why I'm kind of refraining from explaining everything in detail. I want to kind of reveal each fun fact as we go up to the next tier of apartment. So if you guys were amazed by this apartment, wait till we head to the two bedroom apartment tour in the next clip. This is the two bedroom apartment at Carly's residence and right after you enter this apartment on your right hand side you have the kitchen. <laughs> finishes black gray and white interior and something I want to bring your eyes to is the LED light finishing all across the built-in shelves right here it has such an elegant ambiance that I can't get over and this beautiful extractor that we have right here something I do want to bring your notice to all the shelves are custom built in into the kitchen all you have to do is lightly press onto it and the entire storage just pops open. I think it's really, really cool that everything is built into the kitchen. It gives mo so much more space than if it were outside of the kitchen. We have a microwave right here and an oven right here. Now something that I absolutely love that hotels and apartments do that I never take advantage of because it's a little bit pricey is the fact that this fridge is fully stocked. The dining room has the same black finishing. There's a fun fact actually about all the furniture and where it's sourced from, but I'll wait to tell you more about that when we go to the penthouse. But yeah, absolutely beautiful finishing. All the cutlery sets, everything is provided. This is not just staged for this video. This is exactly how you will get your room, your apartment when you do come and stay here. And I think it's just so beautiful, the color coordination in this apartment. The mauve, white, black, gray interior. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. So from there, straight, again, open floor plan into the living room. Everything here, the furniture, the colors, all of that, there's so much thought put out into the details of it. And hopefully at some point this month, I'll be able to talk to the owner of this property so he can tell you more about his passion and having details and fine finishing. The furniture is Bentley furniture. Which other apartment residence are you going to find that does that? There's something so special about properties in Ghana where the owner, the developer puts so much thought into finishing the furniture and things like that. By this point, you would have seen the restaurant and the cafe and the fact that they use Bentley furniture and the beautiful finishing in the elevators. Every point, every part of this entire building is so well thought out. And right behind me, we have the TV. It's slightly indented into the wall and it's like an entire big like glass screen and just so, so beautiful. So right out here, we have the balcony. Something that's quite different about this balcony compared to some other balconies is it's not open air. There are glass ceiling to floor windows to kind of block you away from the outside space. But this space is just so nice. Like you have a coffee table here, you can have meetings here, and you also get to enjoy the amazing, beautiful view of like a hustle and bustle Ghana. Right across from us, we can see Bellagio, the beautiful color structure. Those are beautiful apartments as well. And then right over there, you can see a crown mall, the traffic and everything. You're able to live and feel the life. And when I was going through this property tour myself, the lovely man that was giving me the tour did mention that there are two views that you can enjoy staying at Carly's residence, which is the poolside view and the city view. Before we finish this two bedroom apartment tour, how can we not show you the two bedrooms and their bathrooms and everything beautiful about it? I just want to live here, honestly. So guys, sponsor me. Coming back in from the balcony, the living room, dining room, kitchen and everything that we just went through is right on your left hand side. And right now we're going straight before we enter the master bedroom to a cute little study area. 
I think the wooden finishing and the dark color choice of this table matches the dark elegance that passes throughout the entire apartment. There's like so many things that you would never think to do that they have done that makes the space look so much cleaner. We have these reflecting shelves slash mirror type things that the ambience of the whole space, this place just yells luxury all around. Let's go into the master bedroom of this two bedroom apartment. So this is the master bedroom of the two bedroom apartment at Quarley's residence and guys, there's not much I honestly have to say but something I want to draw your attention to is this textured wall backdrop behind the bed. The dark and light tones, the white tones, it kind of brings together all the colors of the entire apartment. And behind me we have unlimited storage closet space for all the luxury clothing that you're going to wear in this luxury apartment you can fit into all the space and again the dark wooden tone matches the dark wooden tone outside everything is so well thought out and we have a beautiful bathroom right here the bathroom is pretty simple and it's the same throughout the entire building beautiful cubicle finishes and something i really noticed when i first visited here is the fact that the soaps and the shower gels and everything is lined up so straight and I think that should be an indicator of how much they put effort into their details and everything being perfect and luxury that's this entire space so we're back to the entrance of the apartment to show you guys the other bedroom but one thing I forgot to mention is right when you enter before you go to the kitchen on your left hand side you have a bathroom it's pretty much the same bathroom as all the bathrooms in this apartment. The only difference is this one can be for your guests so that your guests don't have to go to your private bathrooms. And here we have the first bedroom once you enter the apartment. This one is closer to the kitchen and the living room so it would be more exposed to people if you had people over. And when you come in, I like the fact that they put effort into design but still were able to maintain your privacy. All across this hand side, you have an indented glass piece that would have been transparent, I guess, but it's clouded so it's added design but it's also still maintaining your privacy. It has the same unlimited storage, bed, and similar bathroom to the other bedroom. So everything here is pretty much the same. It has the beautiful silver finishing again and rain shower so that's gonna be it for the two bedroom apartment and this apartment is already perfect in everything that I've shown you but you guys are not ready for the penthouse let's head to the penthouse the epitome of luxury in this entire property we are finally at the penthouse this is the best of the best the most luxury you're going to feel in this entire building so right after you enter the room you have your bathroom right here the bathroom that your guests can use right after they enter your apartment and now we're walking on to the rest of the apartment the african boy Spiritual love. I just want to bring your attention to the beautiful art pieces that you'll see throughout this apartment. Beautiful pieces like this that cost thousands and thousands of dollars, as you would know by now. But let's head into the kitchen. In this kitchen, there are things that are similar to the two bedroom apartment, but of course, this is on another level. There has to be some differences, but something that both apartments do have is the entirely stocked fridge. There might be some slight differences in the content of with which the fridge is packed, but it's pretty much the same thing. A difference we do have is there's a coffee machine right here, and we have the same microwaves, but we have extra oven space, unlike the two bedroom apartment. And of course, we have the storage units again with bowls, pots, plates, and cups. Another big difference between this and the two bedroom apartments, there are differences in the furniture as well as the finishing. This apartment has everything just on a higher quality, higher level of luxury. You can see just from this tap, this sink, and this entire island. But I mean, 
a normal person, a normal apartment, you could have a regular rectangular stove, but no. At Quarley's residence, they wanted a hexagon. They wanted a hexagon stove, which is like aesthetically absolutely pleasing and obviously a different extractor to match the theme of this apartment. So at this dining room, there's a chandelier that just makes you know, the place seems so much more expensive. I think that's what the theme of this place is. The feeling that you're supposed to get is that you are the best and you're staying at the best. So let's move on into the living room. So this living room has different finishing from the apartment, two bedroom apartment we saw earlier. I'm actually quite a fan of this black interior. It's very, very beautiful and very chic. It has a very mature feel and I absolutely love that. I think there's so much detail that you won't even be able to experience and feel, but I'm going to try to share as much as possible with you guys through the video. But once again, we have this entire fixture with a built-in TV. Everything in this apartment is built in, which provides a way more spatial feel. But we're finally able to head into the bedrooms. And I'm going to show you the first bedroom, the second bedroom. You guys will have to wait and watch till the end to see the master bedroom. beautiful penthouse has three bedrooms and we are currently entering the first of the three bedrooms and it's just absolutely beautiful they definitely did not stage this for us like I've said over and over this is the quality and standard that they maintain at all times and look at how cute this towel arrangement is I don't know what it is it looks like ducks in like a little canoe or whatever it might be it's so so cute so this headboard is absolutely crazy. It has a similar design to the rock type marble design that we saw in the lobby on the headboard. And you may be wondering, where are you gonna put your clothes? Where's the storage? Where's all of that? Come right behind here. You'll find all this storage. And this is not even the master bedroom. How is that possible? I mean, hey guys, I don't know about you, maybe you have enough clothes to fill up this entire space. I mean, I feel like a whole another person could be living in this storage space in itself, but hey, I'm never gonna complain about having more storage space, so that's absolutely amazing. So you can clearly experience a different level of luxury and quality in this penthouse compared to the two bedroom. It has a his and hair sink and this is not even the master bedroom. So we're now moving on into the second bedroom in this penthouse and the operations manager that was giving us a tour earlier on mentioned that a lot of celebrities happen to come and stay here especially through the year return and this penthouse is perfect because you can have the master bedroom for the celebrity client bodyguards can stay in these bedrooms or friends can also stay as well so this room is typically where a bodyguard or security of that person may stay Guys, this is the master bedroom and as you can see behind me, if you walk straight, you can see the bed but we're gonna take a little detour. This entire space, honestly, I feel like a kid at a playground. It's an absolute maze and you can take the straight path to the bed or you can come along with me on this little adventure of unlimited storage closet space. I mean, like, come on. And you can continue going straight or you can pass another path in the maze where you have the shower. There's something so weird and unique about all these reflective qualities throughout the building, especially here. There's so many reflective features and it gives you like a weird dynamic spatial feel. Even the sink is absolutely different. And we have this bathtub right here as well. It's matching with the sink. Similar material, it has a very, very soft 
feel actually very very spacious and we have a toilet and bidet again and guys this is all in the master bedroom of the penthouse we're just taking detours this is an absolute maze you have the shower right here crazy we're finally at the bed and there's another cute little towel fixture i think this one is a swan um this space apart from the bed and built-in tv right here on the side across from the bed there's just so much space there's nothing going on over here honestly if you want to come and do cartwheels whatever you want to come and do come and do personally i'll come and do cartwheels guys comment down below what's your favorite part of this penthouse